The students burst into laughter. The teacher called him to the platform. I know you think you're the class clown, but I've had it with you. Can't. What? What? Help! Come on. Because of the strange cry, he is often bullied by his classmates. Even his own father lost faith in him. Every wine, father will be furious. He felt the son made a strange cry, just want to attract others' attention. The day of parents' divorce, father only gave his brother a hug. Then I have to go. The boy pounced on him, but father pushed him away. For this son, he was completely disappointed. Fortunately, the boy has a great mother. She never gave up her son, because they often disturb the classroom. The headmaster called his mother to school. The boy cried and said he couldn't control it, but the headmaster didn't believe it at all. He gave an ultimatum. If you can't control yourself, then don't read it. Mom didn't say anything. Take your son and turn around and leave. Mother decided to help him transfer to another school, but the boy is tired of reading, because wherever you go, he is a burden in the eyes of teachers, jokes in the eyes of classmates. To solve the problem of my son, mother often goes to the library to look up information. Finally in a book, she found out her son's illness, Tourette syndrome. The patient will twitch involuntarily, make strange noises. This disease will last a lifetime, and there is no medicine to cure. The boy called his father. Father choked. I don't know what to say. It turned out that I had been wrong about my son. To cheer up my son, mother took her son to a public welfare organization. There are many patients with Tourette's disease here, but everyone here is depressed. Adults have no jobs. Children dare not go out. Their parents also gave up their children completely. This is not what mom wants. She must not let her son be like these people. I'm really so sorry that I brought you there, honey. I, let's just forget this. I don't want to forget this, mom. People let Tourette's win. I'm never gonna do that. Boy transferred to a new school, but the situation remains the same. New classmates laughed at him. The new teacher can't stand him either. Left him to the headmaster. The headmaster didn't say anything. Invite him to the school concert. Although he shook his head to show that he didn't want to, but the headmaster still wants him to go at the school concert. The boy kept barking. Wonderful music mixed with strange cries. Students look at him, show disgusting eyes. After the performance, the headmaster asked the boy to come on stage. The headmaster asked him, Do you like making strange noises? He said, No, I can't control it. This is a disease. I don't like making noises anymore. And you like hearing them. The headmaster asked him again, How can we help you? I want to be treated like everybody else. The boy walked down the stage. I still keep screaming, but at this time, applause thundered under the stage. At this moment, all prejudices have disappeared. The headmaster said a few words. Let boys understand the power of education. From this day on, the boy aspires to be a teacher. He graduated with excellent grades. Can find a better job for him, but he just wants to be a teacher. A good teacher, although the interviewers appreciate his grades. But after hearing his strange cry, still frowning, such a person, how to impart knowledge. In an interview, the headmaster is willing to give him a chance, but he must promise. Don't make strange noises in class. It completely angered him. But I would never, ever work for a man that doesn't care about his students. He went back to the car. Keep hammering the steering wheel. After many failures, he didn't know. Own dream. Can it be achieved? The disease made him unable to say a complete word. But in his dictionary, never give up. Cheer him up. Mark every school on the map. Carefully bind every resume. After 25 failures, finally one day, a primary school called a man for an interview. He rolled down the window. The police officer issued a ticket to him. Speeding. Speaking room. He kept making strange noises. The policeman asked him if he had drunk. He explained his illness to the police officer. The officer asked again, are you looking for a job? I'm gonna be a teacher. The police officer stared at him in surprise. Helpless shook his head. He came to the primary school where the interview was held. The headmaster didn't care about his illness at all. Instead, I appreciate his teaching philosophy. This is his best interview. After several rounds of assessment, the man finally became a teacher. First day of class, he came to class early, put your little rabbit away, children's toys, and made children's name cards. Finally, his dream will begin here. The children are carrying the table. Walk into the classroom one by one. He wrote down Tourette's disease on the blackboard. Tell the children about your illness. The children soon accepted him. They like this humorous teacher very much. But parents of students, I don't think so. A girl's father, I overheard his strange cry. The second day, he handled the shift for the girl, despite his parents' prejudice against him. But the girl likes him very much, often sneak to his class. In his class, there is a special girl. Her hair is getting less and less day by day. The girl's mother told the man. Her daughter is a leukemia patient. Time is running out. Her happiest thing. It's in men's class. A few weeks later, the girl left the world. Men are invited to attend funerals. But he was standing outside the door. He is afraid of his strange cry. Disturb the solemnity of the funeral. But the girl's mother insisted that he go. We're her favorite teacher. Please don't leave without saying goodbye to her.
As a teacher, this is undoubtedly the best recognition. One year later, the man won the teacher of the year. He stood on the podium for uncontrollable screams, but this time, no one laughed. He said he was the best teacher. It's Tourette's disease. The disease will accompany him all his life, but I'll never beat him down. It will make him stronger. And that is to never let anything stop you from chasing your dream. From working or playing falling in love. This is a real person. What you see is not an omnipotent superhero, just an equally desperate, ordinary people who do their best. He used his optimism, turn inferiority into strength. Self-improvement person will win the world.